not so fuzzy. And yes, do not on me. I am a Taurus. That's just my fun fact of the day. That is Pixie, who is probably going to start barking at my neighbors. And she knocked over all of my makeup brushes. Wonderful. So, today's video, if you guys are wondering, I am doing a review slash makeup tutorial using the individual shadows from ColourPop Summer Collection. I wanted to do some color, and I thought this would be fun. Um, so these are all the colors you get. I did try arranging it in the way that they have it displayed on their website. Um, mine, I ordered it, so it was supposed to come in a palette like this, but they didn't send me a palette. So I just used one of my empty ones I had. So I need to get some more of these, because I want to be on depotting all of my ColourPop palettes into like one of these and sorting them how I like to sort colors, which doesn't make sense to anyone else, but it works for me and I like it like that. So I need to uh, basically unsort these into like my other ones and like actually make the palettes how I like them. But for today, versus we'll leave them how they came or how it's displayed they should be. And yeah, let's get into this tutorial. Alright. I lost my mirror. I literally just had there it is, okay. I was like, I just had a mirror, where'd it go? Um, I already have foundation on if you guys are curious that it either the video before this or after this. I don't know which order I am posting these in. Currently, I'm filming a few different videos today, making different sections, different videos. So, we're doing the makeup in this section. So, doing a foundation review. So I already have stuff on my lids from the foundation and I don't feel like putting any more on, so I'm just gonna use what I already have. Um, to start out with, to set the foundation, we're gonna take L Lay Low which is this shadow from the Summer Collection because it's the only kind of peachy matte tone that I can see just working as an all-around base. So I'm going to start off by just applying that kind of everywhere. I'm going to try not to let it get too colored up like I did there so that way I can work on it. So I think we're going to have to do some orangey reds or something there. Alright. Back my contact out of place. Okay. So everything's set to work with because that's how I like to do it. I do have all my brushes just sitting in my lap right now so they don't keep falling over since I'm filming on my bed. Uh, next I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush. And let's go into the shade. I don't know what kind of look I want to do. Thinking like the redsy tones in this one, and I might do a separate video on the cooler tones. So I think I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, which is the shade called Bratty. I'll load that up on my brush, which I don't know if it was clean to start with. So that'll be interesting. I'm gonna apply that in my crease. And kind of bring it down. Okay, right, there's definitely something I brush beforehand, so just gotta make sure I keep that kind of loaded. So we don't have some skipping. Do the same on this eye. Okay. Next, I'm going to take just on a fluffy brush here. Absolutely no product and just kind of blend. Looks like I had orange on it before, so. That should help me out. We're blending this out. Okay, we're going smoky today. And dramatic. Because it's what we got going. Was that my initial plan? No. 
but uh, it's what we got right now. All right, so I'm gonna keep this brush from Morphe. I'm gonna go back into Lay Low and kind of feather that up here. We'll grab a shimmer, I think. At some point, but let's just kind of blend it up. All right. Next, I'm gonna take a Luxie brush and this shadow, which is Hop On, which is kind of a reddish tone. This is a fluffy brush. It's a blending brush, to be quite honest. I tap off the excess because. It's very pigmented and I don't want red hair. I'm gonna keep building up this crease a little bit. I think I might do some cut crease action actually. I haven't done that in a while. Actually, I don't know when the last time I did that was, so we'll do that. So, well. Get this red down. <laughs> Is it dramatic? Insanely. Did I plan to be this dramatic today? No. Are we going with it? Yeah. Alright, next I'm going to take this mushy brush. This is if I not going to contaminate what we're doing and nothing's coming off. You know, there's powder coming off. I must use a like a skin tone color with this. I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna go into the shade if I can get out so I can show you guys cutoffs. Just kind of work that up on the brush. Tap off a little bit. And then I'm going to start applying that up here, kind of a shimmer. I think I might need a wet brush, so let me grab something to spray the brush with. We'll just use this. It's not what you should use at all, but I'm going to use it. Something to get the brush a little wet. That's not what you should use for all. And I just lost my shadow. Oh, I lost the shadow. I was literally just holding it. Oh, there it is. It's like, how do I lose a shadow? Okay, here we go. Brush is wetted. Oh, yeah, there we go. It'll look better when I do my brows, I think. But we're looking good. And we're looking dramatic, but... I might actually wear lashes today. Which is not what I was expecting to wear at all today, but... It's kind of what we got going. Alright, so I'm going to grab an eyeshadow primer to kind of carve out the lid here. Hey guys, Future May here. Working on editing this video, as I know I've applied this makeup, and my computer keeps crashing every time I try exporting the video, and it's on a memory card, and I can't, don't have space on my computer to put the video on to the computer itself, so I have to do everything that went off the memory card but it keeps corrupting and every time I re-sign into my computer, half the video is gone. So if you guys get this video and there's actually an ending, because <laughs> right now it's not looking like it. Uh, most of it was good and still there last time I did it, but I just wanted to do a little cutaway insert thing, so yeah. Some of the video footage is gone and I apologize for that. Nothing I can do, unfortunately, until I get a new computer and I can't afford one at the moment. So, it is what it is. Hope you guys still enjoy the video. And if there's not an ending, hope you guys still enjoy the beginning. Or, there's no beginning.
them, but still doesn't matter. So, yeah. Alright, next I'm apply some mascara. I don't think I've tried this one before, which is the Tarte Man Eater. So we're gonna try that real quick here. I like their Lights Camera Lashes. I know I've tried the Tarte... No, I haven't tried this one. I have not tried Man Eater. So I'm gonna try. I got it as a free gift when I was ordering stuff from Ulta. So I might as well try it. I am not putting on lashes. I like how that looks without lashes. Cause hot damn, that looks good. Oh, this mascara makes your lashes so long. Oh my goodness. I like that. Okay. I think upcoming we're going to do another uh, comparison video for mascara. What's the difference between this one, look wise, and lights, camera, lashes? Because this one might just be happy came and you very mascara. Not sure yet. Okay, right, I'm going to go finish up my makeup. And then we'll be back with some final thoughts. Alright, we're back. All makeup is done. This is the finishing look. Decided to wear Nathan on my lips, which is a Valoric Liquid Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have CA Dreaming from ColourPop. And then one of their blushes. I can't remember, considering the name of the shade is on the bottom. I think it's Why Not? Or why something, I don't remember. I'll figure it out and put it in the description box down below. But final thoughts on the shadows, at least on the warmer ones that I used, which were this guy, 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 and that guy. I really like it. I am going to do another video in the future. I'm gonna try doing a few more other things before I do this um, of the cooler side. Or let me just know if you guys want a cooler side video down in the comments down below. And yeah, overall I really like these shadows. ColourPop always has really great eyeshadows, so I definitely like them. If you guys want to try them, they are, still are available on their website. So yeah, not, I don't get anything back if I like it know that that's up there. But I really like it. ColourPop, they are some of my favorite shadows. If you guys haven't noticed, almost every single video in the last few weeks have been ColourPop. Um, I do have some other palettes that I need to actually film videos of for you guys, um, including some Wet n Wild ones, and I might do one on the Domini Cosmetics one, the Latte palette. I've been wearing it for the past, like, month since I got it, like, w for work, but I've never done a video on it, so I might do one, but I also really want to do, um, some, like, TV show-based makeup looks. I like how I did the um, Insane Children look from Alice Madness Returns. And yeah, so just excellent side door. But here's the finished look. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, what you guys want to see in the future. Give this video a massive big pause up and subscribe to the Hello Pack. Yada yada. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!